Okay, I'm going to show you how to use a ClassWiz calculator to help you complete table of values and ultimately draw a graph from those values. So, in this question it says complete the table of values for y equals 2x plus 4. Now, this is a linear graph. So we're expecting the graph that we draw to be a straight line when we finished. Okay. Now we could substitute the x values using the calculator into this equation, or we could use a technique on the calculator, which I'm going to show you now. So if you have one of these classwise calculators, they're really, really good to help you. Um, doing various different functions. And one of the functions you can do is you can fill in a table of values, which is perfect for what we need. So if you press the menu button, then it might differ depending on what um, type of class with calculator you have. I'm going to arrow across until I get to mine's menu number nine, and it's called the table. And it's the table function. And I'm going to, when I get to the table I'm going to press equals. Then this flashes up with f of x. Now we don't really need to worry about that, what that is but it, it's it's prompting us to enter a function but in our case we just need to know that we're going to enter the 2x plus 4. Okay now we can get an x because if we look at the calculator in pink above the closed bracket there is an x. We can get a bracket by using the alpha button and pressing this because the alpha is in pink and so is the x above this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to enter 2x plus 4. So 2 and I'm going to press alpha and the close bracket that gives me the x plus 4. Now I'm going to press equals. Now it then prompts me to put in another function but I don't want to put in another function, I just want to draw one graph. So I'm going to go and press equals. Now it's asking me where I want to start my table from. Now my table of values start at minus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put minus 1. Okay. And then I'm going to press equals and it brings me down to the next line. And it says end. My table of values ends at 3. So I'm going to put in 3 and I'm going to press equals. Now the x values are going in steps of 1. Okay. So... It's already got one um, input there, so I'm just going to go ahead and press equal. And what that does, it gives me a table of values. So we have the x values that I originally put in and the corresponding y values. And all I need to do is enter them together. So I've got x when x is minus 1, y or f of x is 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to continue and fill in the rest of the values. So when x is 0, y is 4, which we already had. When x is 1, um, y is, or f of x is 6. And then the last one, when x is 2, then the value is 8. And if you need to go down further, then you can get the last one as well. Okay? So we filled in our table of values using the table function. And don't forget, when you finish using the table function, if you press menu and one, that takes you back to where you need to be to use the calculator as normal. Now I have my table of values, I can plot them as coordinates. So when my x value is minus one, so when x is minus one, y is two. And then when x is zero, y is four. And when x is 1, y is 6. x is 1, y is 6. And then when x is 2, y is 8. And then the last one, when x is 3, y is 10. So I've plotted my values. Then the only last thing that you need to do is you need to draw a straight line between those points. And your question will be complete. Excuse this. <laughs> now, 
if you don't draw a straight line between your points or you do something silly like I've just done there, make sure that you go ahead and you make it as neat as possible using hopefully a ruler, not like me who's not prepared, using a ruler. Now, if you fail to put in that straight line, you lose a mark straight away because you will you will you are drawing a linear graph. So if you fail to draw a straight line, you are losing those marks. And if you don't draw the line for the values that it's wanting from minus one up to three, mine's going a little bit further, but that doesn't matter. I've gone from minus one up to three. If you make it shorter, then again, you risk the you make the risk of losing marks as well. 